Well, hey, fancy meeting you here. So, I've been talking about motherboards for this series for a while, and I think it's just appropriate that we just build with the motherboard, we build a computer system. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Yeah, don't worry, motherboard's right here. So, after opening our box and sifting through it, this will happen for most any motherboards. We have the motherboard, no surprise there. We have this, the rear I.O. guard, is also used by trained assassins all over the world because it's the sharpest object known to man. And the last one is SATA cables if you're still into using optical drives, which we are today. So the next part of this is a little bit of pre-assembly before we actually put it in a case. Next, you want to look through your RAM, find some that... Once you've weeded out the weak, take the strong and put it in the motherboard. So come on with me, cameraman. We can't do this all day. So we have our RAM. And we have a fancy little notch. Pull out one of these, and you're gonna look for DDRA1. That says channel one, slot one. That's where your first RAM card will go. And I only have one today, so that's okay. And then you just get in there, and then you get that nice, ah, so satisfying. Before you really begin your technological adventure, you need to pick your starter hard drive. This will help you in all of your journeys. So you have the leaf type, you have the water type, and you have the fire type. But let's be honest, all of this is garbage. Nowadays, we use solid state drives, and it's beautiful. Solid state drives. Line up the stuff, and give it a nice screw in. There we go. No cables, no power, just go. So, any very good motherboard needs a good processor, and today we've found out the only the very best of the Ryzen series. It is a Ryzen 3 3200G. Literally no other processor has any handle on this thing right here. As far as being the cheapest. So here we are, Ryzen 3 3200G. Love this guy. This one has a very smooth finish. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna, oh geez. And we're gonna line up our golden triangles in the corners Get it in there and push down. Have this big, thick alicious heat sink. Let's get that on there. So, for the bigger heat sinks, they would actually use these clamps. But since we're at the cheapest of the barrel, we're not going to use these. These are for fancy people. So this is that gross thermal paste. You know it's thermal paste if you get it on your fingers and you're like, <laughs> let's line it up here. Get everything lined up. Do not scratch the board. That's a big no-no. You can't unscratch the board. Believe me, I've tried. Doesn't work. So there I was on Amazon, and I found the cheapest metal box we could put our computer in. And here it is, 36 bucks, US dollars, I love it. And uh, we're gonna put our motherboard in there today. Next, you wanna open your, your case. Two screws off here, and then give it a nice, subtle karate chop, like Hyah! And then you can Hyah! Now, you're gonna take your motherboard and just put it in there. Just put it in the box. <sighs> Something's not right. So take the sharpest tool known to man, and you're gonna put it in the motherboard. Case, thing. Make sure you get it popped in there. Do not cut yourself. This is a very dangerous part. I cannot stress enough. Once you've done that, is done off to putting in the motherboard. So, take your motherboard, we're gonna go in here. This case has headers pre-installed, but I did find that one of these was off. So this one should be in this. And the reason I figured that out was I gently put everything in here, kinda brought it up to that rear I.O. shield, and I discovered that this one is just hanging over, over here, and then there's nothing really right here to connect it. So we're gonna adjust that and then screw this thing in. Always be very careful moving it out. Um, there's lots of sensitive contacts on the bottom of this board. Don't want stuff touching. So now we're gonna put the motherboard in the case. We're gonna gently put everything down. We're gonna line up that rear I.O. We don't want anything sticking. We wanna be able to use all of our ports. Just double check in there to make sure we can get everything. So now we're screwing the motherboard into the case. We don't want it to get away. We don't want to, in the middle of the night, have this thing run off. It's very bad, it's hard to track these. And local law enforcement may look at you funny when you tell them that it ran away. 
So now we just have a few things to plug in. But don't get overwhelmed, as long as you get the power and the power button, that's all you need to get along. So now we're on to the most stressful part of the build, where we put this in, and we hope we don't break the PCB in half. This one went in fine, others, you might not be so lucky. So now we're gonna plug in the CPU power. This is to feed our little 3200G, the 65 watts it needs, and click. There we go, that's not going anywhere. We'll zip tie these two together. So, contrary to popular belief, some people still use these. I don't know why, but this computer has a DVD drive. And we're gonna install the SATA cable and the power cable for it, and connect it to our motherboard. Let's get to it. This power supply was really weird and it had the four pin Molex connector at the very end. So I had to like zip tie it and Frankenstein it together to make this look like it's at the end. This is a four pin SATA connector. It's supposed to be five pin, but the, uh, oh God, is five pin. That's weird. I didn't know they still did that. Anyways, let's plug it in. So there we go. We're at the bottom of our SATA drive and let's power in. So, oh. Got a key in backwards and just just yeet it in there until it works. So the reason that I say, oh God, I don't know why the people do that anymore is because the four pin, I mean the fifth pin is a 3.3 volt and it's actually optional for a lot of the devices. And I could run this off of a four pin, uh, 12 volt, five volt, and it would still work. Mm -hmm. So now we have the last three connectors. It's our USB 3.0, and this has a big thing. We're gonna show you that in a second here. Click, we're in. The next one up here is the HD front audio. This is for the microphone and headphone port in the front of the case. So we're just gonna come up here at the very end of the board. I know it's this one because if you look at that, that's an alien with his hands up, and that is a Realtek sound card. Here we go. Got that nice and in there. And then the last part is, admittingly not the funnest, but is super essential, is the front panel connectors. This is for a reset, a hard drive light, power switch. So pro tip here, for any of your switches, it doesn't matter how they're keyed. They could go in frontwards, backwards, doesn't matter. But if you have a LED, which is a light emitting diode, just know that electricity can only go one way. And you can find that your motherboard marks where the, where the plus is, and also these little connectors will mark where the plus and where the minus is. It's really tiny, but it's definitely there. So the purpose of this video was to get you more comfortable with the motherboard, just to show you uh, kind of a crash course on how you're gonna put this in there and put everything together. I hope we got that done. And next part is turn it on, see if it works. You don't have to install Windows or anything. If you turn it on, it will do the power on self test and you'll see if it works or not. Next part is install Windows, get a flash drive, go to download Windows 10 or something, um, or Mac if you're into that, or Linux, it doesn't really matter. And then the last part is install your drivers, install the most up to date drivers from the website. So here, this is a AS Rock board. I would go to AS Rock's website and download their stuff. After you do all this, you won't have to mess with the motherboard for probably a long time until you have to do the regular maintenance of dusting it out and stuff. So I hope this helped and have a good day. Bye. Wait, you weren't recording? Hard drive. No. Ah. Ooh. So here we go. We have here we here we here we. Ha <laughs>